know, what a lot of people don't realize is that this isn't just racing. This is the search for the ultimate streetcar. course is a ton of fun. I really enjoy it. That's what I sign up for. Take it to red line, lap after lap, gear shift after gear shift, hard on the brakes. Everything is taxed to the max. Anytime we can get in the car and go drive, um, we do. And we've been running almost every two weeks this season so far, um, which is a lot. And, uh, you know, it just makes me better and better and better. And I'm, I'm nibbling away at Ken on the road course side of it. I'm actually really looking forward to putting this car on this track. Because we know what we ran in the fifth gen um, at the Invitational. I think that this car, even though it's underpowered, this isn't a, this isn't a big horsepower track. The back stretch is pretty big. But aside from that, it's pretty, you know, it's pretty much a technical type course. You know, in this type of event, you're not racing somebody and you have to get to the finish line ahead of someone. It's like qualifying. It's like uh, qualifying for pole position. And that's the type of mentality you have. You have to make sure the brakes are warmed up on your warm-up lap, tires are up to temperature, but not too hot. And you literally get one shot at putting that car on pole or winning that fast time of the day. Time trial is definitely a lot of work, and it, it is a science for sure. You gotta remember, these are street cars, and these are street tires. You've got a very small window at which that tire operates at its best, and you've gotta maximize that when you're out on the track. Street tires are meant to operate at a normal range on the street, temperature-wise. So when you overheat them, when you drive them really hard on a racetrack, they come up to their optimum temperature and then they exceed that. The whole key to it is, you know, is spacing yourself out from the guy in front of you. If somebody's ahead of you that you're gonna catch mid-lap and they're gonna hang you up, they're trying to go fast too, then it kind of spoils your whole session because you can't, you don't have enough time to cool everything down, cool those street tires down to the proper temperature to where they're gonna perform their best. And you want the guy behind you not to be riding your butt that first you know, lap because you don't wanna be looking in your mirror. You wanna be able to look ahead, focus on the track, focus on laying down a good time. They send you out and you warm the car up on that first warm up lap when everybody's going in a conga line and then you get on it the last corner before the, the start finish line. So you, you're on it there to get a good run down the straightaway, get the green flag and that's your flyer. You gotta make that stick. What did we run, a 152? Yeah, we like the 153 one. We've got clutch problems again. Took the green, I got on it. It's like, win, win. You know, it didn't help matters that we're, the road rally took us down the Las Vegas Strip yesterday evening bumper to bumper traffic, it's hot, and it just, it's stop and go, so the clutch is getting worked and worked and worked that whole time. Probably get another session in on this clutch, but I've got to really baby it. And with a slipping clutch, you have to be real ginger with the throttle. You've got to, like an egg underneath the throttle. You've got to be so gentle with it. So you just have to calm down and really focus to get that one lap of what it's going to take to do it. With a slipping clutch or, or whatnot, you've got to be able to be disciplined have your game plan and incorporate that on that lap.
That's better. We had that plan where, you know, we'll, we'll run one more and we'll call it good and, and put the car on the trailer. And I just thought, well, we kept, we improved by a half a second, then we went back out and improved by a second and a half. I mean, a lot. I kept saying, man, what the f is wrong with Jake? It's said, he's going really slow. And I, then I realized, oh, I was going really fast. It was a good rabbit to chase, that's for sure. I'm yeah. usually not a chaser. Hey, it worked that time. Actually, we're sitting third overall with a slipping clutch, so you go figure. No, I didn't leave anything on the table out there today. Um, on the road course, we we pushed the car to its limit. Um, we got down to a 51.9, which I was super happy with. That's uh, for a relatively stock car that's moving. Um, and I'm, I'm happy with the overall performance, but I'm worn out. Jason Ken all day was a lot of work. Two for two. Uh, got a win in Thunder Hill, and we got a win here in Las Vegas. Looking for our third win coming up in New Jersey. So uh, we got 468 points towards the GT Championship. Add that to our 440 something we got in Thunder Hill, and we're on our way. So we got some hardware, made the trip worthwhile. We'll see you later.